Hello fellow music lovers, thanks so much for coming by this channel and uh, today I want to ask you a question. Are you going to go see Yes this summer? And uh, I guess the big question is which Yes are you going to go see? Are you going to go see the one that, uh, you know, has got Steve Howe and Alan White? Or are you going to go see the one that's got John Anderson and Trevor Rabin and, and Rick Wakeman? Because they're both on tour, they're both celebrating 50 years of Yes, but uh, which one are you going to go see? I. Uh, to be honest with you, I might go see both of them, but for different reasons. Um, if I go see the one with Steve Howe, and I actually already had an invite by a friend to, to go see it, it would be more to just go hang out with my friends and go see a show. And it's more of the, uh, you know, more of that kind of a thing. I, I'm not going to see Yes, because I saw Yes, I think it was last summer, and I was not impressed. Um, I'm not a fan of John, John Davison. I'm not a fan of his voice. Uh, he's nowhere close to John Anderson. I think, uh, you know, Benoit David was a much better choice. It's a shame that they had to let him go. I mean, and, and yes, you know, you got to be kind of careful. If you get a cough or, or something, you, you, you could be out of the band in a couple of weeks. Um, and that's a whole other video that I can make. I thought Benoit David actually was a, a more suitable type of a replacement for John Anderson. He actually sounded more like Trevor Horn. This guy, John John Davidson, though, I really don't care for him. Uh, now with Chris Squire gone, I mean, Billy Sherwood is capable, but it's just getting to the point where it's just like, what the hell are we listening to here? You know, Alan White has um, you know, got some back issues. He basically plays the last couple of songs in the, sh in the shows now. Um, and it's just not that great. I mean, Jeff Downs is capable, but is he a Rick Wakeman? No. You know, he can get through things, but... There's just nothing there that really impresses, aside from Steve Howe. He's still a tremendous player. He's a great guy. I actually had the opportunity to meet him uh, and and spend some time with him, and, and he's a great guy. I love, I love his playing. I always have. But it's just unfortunate that they can't all get together in one, in one band. I feel like the uh, band that he's in now is kind of lacking. And if I did go see them, it would be more to hang out with my friends than to see what Yes is doing. Now, on the other hand, ARW, I've seen them a couple of times, and I've been very impressed. I thought that they put on a great show. You got John Anderson there, so you got the voice of Yes, which is very important. Um, Trevor Rabin's a great guitar player, he's a good singer, and um, you know they, he added some great songs into their, into their catalog. Uh, and Rick Wakeman, did I say anything about him? The maestro. He is the definitive keyboard player for Yes. And I'm much more interested, I'm, I'm much more interested in what they do on stage. And probably by the time I get to see them, because there's no dates coming around here this year, uh, it'll probably be next year. Hopefully their new album will be, will be out. I'm kind of curious to see what they come up with. Um, Trevor Rabin is... Um, He's been doing a lot of film scoring, and uh, he, he's been very active in a different kind of vein, and I think that it could be a very interesting, uh, you know, new album that, that they wind up coming out with. So there's more t for me with the ARW, yes, to, uh, to kind of, you know, get my interest. So I probably will see both, but I can tell you right now which one I, I, I really would prefer to see. So I'm curious to see, you know, which yes are you going to go see and why? Put your comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, and, uh, and I'll talk to you later.